my channel. I haven't actually done anything for quite a while. Reason being is that I've just got too many people in my house, that's too noisy, too loud, so I can't really film anything. And plus, I don't really like filming when family are at home. So yeah, I've just been blogging, so if you want to keep up to date with me, then just follow me on Twitter and on my blog, links down below. And that's kind of beauty, fashion, lifestyle, collaborations, and yeah. So today's video is a little bit different. I don't normally do, well, on my blog I don't normally do sort of beauty tutorials and stuff, but just because I'm a little bit older now, when I started my channel I was 16, so I'm kind of changing, I suppose. So I kind of prefer leaning towards like the lifestyle stuff, but today I thought I would do a beauty related tutorial. Yeah, so basically in May, some of you may or may not know, um, there is a Comic Con event. And this will be my second event that I would have gone to. I went to my first one back in October for my birthday. And it was so much fun. We didn't go and dress up or anything. We just went in normal clothes. And when we got there, we were just like, yeah, we should have we should have cosplayed. It was completely... We, just, we were the ones that were um, odd. So uh, this time, myself and a number of my friends are going. And we are dressing up. Or cosplaying. However you want to say it. I'm still kind of a bit of a newbie with this sort of thing so I'm really sorry if I offend anyone with whatever I call things but yeah so I am going as Lara Croft I'm going as the newer version because I prefer her style in the latest version of the game in the earlier game she wore quite what I'm going to refer to as skimpy clothes and I personally don't have the confidence to wear that sort of stuff and I praise the people that do but I don't really want to wear short shorts and a crop top in May to London so I'm going as a newer version, which is combat trousers and a t-shirt, or a little strappy top. I'm just going to kind of show you what I'm going to be doing for my makeup. Every time I do this, it's different, so this may turn out really well. It may turn out really, really poorly. I don't know. Depends how this goes. The products that I'm using are kind of a mixed match of really sort of good quality stuff, I suppose, and cheaper stuff. So this is kind of a makeup look on a budget so if you're on a budget then this would probably be quite ideal I'm not going to do her actual makeup I'm just going to show you sort of like the special effects side of it I'm not a professional at this at all I'm literally just playing around with a bit of eyeshadow and a little bit of red lipstick and just kind of trying to pull something out of the products that I've already got so it just kind of shows you that you can create this sort of look without going out and spending a crap load of money on all these expensive products like I'm using things like Snazaru products things like this um, which is really cheap to buy online and I'm using things like MUA and Makeup Revolution and e.l.f. So it's just kind of basic brands that you can pick up anywhere and that are quite cheap. So yeah, so I'll just show you what I'll be using. I might I might use it, I might not. I'm just kind of having a play around. For her hair, I'm actually going to get my hair cut in a couple of days time and I'm going to have... My hair's actually really long now. The last time you saw it, it was probably like here. It's now quite far down. Um, so I'm going to have about this much cut off of my hair which is a bit scary because I haven't cut my hair in about a year. And I'm going to have um, sort of the front all laid because she's got quite a messy front. So I'm just going to kind of pull it up. And I've actually just come back from college, so I've had my hair tied up all day. So it doesn't really matter if it's messy because it's part of the look. For her actual makeup look, she just has really minimal makeup on. So I will be just putting plain brows on, um, a little bit of blusher. Probably just kind of like what I have on now, but a little bit more to her style so yeah on to I'm jabbering it's been such a long time so so the products that I'm going to be using are a range of Snazaru products so I've got Snazaru uh, special effects gel blood and one of their sponges and we'll just see what the name of their sponges because these are actually really good they're called stipple sponges I really do recommend them over like your average makeup brush because these are for blending these are not for blending they kind of create more sort of a scratchy rough look that's the best way I can describe it. If you don't want to buy these, because these were £3 for two, for two sponges, which can be quite expensive, you could just get like a really sort of uh, sharp, I'm going to say sharp brush, but that doesn't make any sense, like a stipple brush, kind of like this, but a little bit rougher, um, and just kind of stipple it on, <laughs> if you like. So I'm also going to be using lots of different kind of eyeshadows for the mud. I will be caking myself in mud on the day. I'm just not going to do it now because I'm clean. I don't want to <laughs> put mud on me. So um, I'm just going to be using different kind of brown shades and whatnot. Um, and for kind of scratches, I'm literally just using red lipstick and red 
lip pens and the occasional bit of red blood. I don't, I'm going to not recommend this because I've been using this for the last couple of weeks now to practice with and it's not got a lot of pigment in it. Um, so it's not, when you put it on, it just kind of, you'll see in a minute when I start kind of doing the makeup, look, it's not brilliant. So I do recommend um, something that's a little bit thicker, if you like. So red face paint would probably be better. So on to the makeup look. So she has quite a muddy face. I'm going to, if I can put the picture reference somewhere, if I can figure out how to do it, then it's going to be somewhere or now. Okay, so she's got a lot of mud on her face, so I'm just basically going to get my, this is, I don't really know what you call this, it's a face brush by e.l.f. And it says it's a bronzing brush, but it's quite a scratchy brush. So I'm just going to take some of this eyeshadow, I'm just going to go like that, and just start patting that all over my face. I highly recommend doing this on your neck as well because it's just going to look really odd if you've just got like a really made up face and then nothing on your neck. Like I said, on the day I will be using actual mud. Someone recommended coffee, but I don't know whether I like the sound of going around Comic Con with coffee all over my face. So I'm kind of debating at the moment. So I'm going to move on to um, a little bit more. You can see that my face is now a little bit dirty looking but I'm going to go on to my MUA um, palette which is the undressed palette and again I'm just going to like just go for every single colour because mud isn't really one colour it's all sorts of colours so this just kind of gives your face a little bit more of a dirty look. She's at different stages in the game, at different stages of the game you've got all sorts of kind of points where she's clean, muddy, ridiculously muddy, really bloody and yeah. Okay so my face is a little bit more dirty now. Taking a red lipstick, you don't have to use a red lipstick, you can use anything you want. I'm just going to mark out some of the cuts that she's got on her face. So she has an obvious cut on her nose, which is here. This is just a guideline for me. She has a cut on her lip. She also has a cut on her head, but it's not incredibly clear. So they're the three main cuts that she has on her face. And then just taking my little stipple sponge, I'm just going to, but this is an old lipstick, so I'm just going to put this on here and I'm just going to create some scratches so as you can see it creates really good scratch marks okay so I've got a couple of scratches you can do a couple more if you want so do a bit on the eye a bit more just here a bit more on her forehead because she's quite grazed and I will be doing this all over my arms it's just today I'm just going to do the face so that is like the basic of your cuts and stuff. So now it's just kind of building it up and giving it that little bit more of a 3D look. I do have wax, but I'm not gonna use that today because I'm still trying to kind of figure it out. I've got the Snazaroo wax, which looks like this. And this isn't actually that, that soft. You have to really warm it up in your hands in order to kind of get it to work. So I'm just gonna take this brush. It is a, it's just a blending brush by Barbara Daily Makeup. And I'm just going to take a little bit of brown eyeshadow. Now when you have a cut it kind of dries up, which sounds a little bit gory, it dries up and it kind of scabs over. So I'm just kind of going to do a little bit of brown in the middle of these cuts. I might just take a black actually because it's a little bit dark, it'll show up on the camera a bit better. So I'm just going to take a bit of black just to give it a bit more of depth to it. And for the cut in the middle, I'm going to blend that a little bit. Because all of her cuts are very dirty as well, this is another thing. I'm just going to do this a little bit. That is what it looks like so far. I'm just going to take the gel blood. Now, I'm really confused by this bottle because looking at this bottle, you would think that this bit comes off and you can squirt it, but it doesn't come off. So it is just literally like that. So you can either be extremely bloody, pour it all over your face, or you can just leave it and just do a little bit of speckling here and there. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm, I don't have a spatula. The brushes that I bought from Snazaroo aren't great. They don't really uh, take the product very well. It just kind of smears it on. So I'm going to just use the end of like a nail file. Um, you can use like other brushes for this and stuff. 
or a spatula if you've got one, but I don't have a spatula. I'm just going to put this on here. So it looks a little bit more like it's bleeding. I'm just going to put that on my nose as well. This kind of gives it a bit more of a shine as well, as opposed to it kind of makes it stand out a little bit more. Okay, so that's basically basically it. Um, so I'll just show you what it looks like. So as you can see, you've got the cut on the forehead, you've got the cut on the nose, you've got a few scratches here and there. You can add more scratches, but I'm kind of leaving it at this just because I don't want it to look overdone, if that makes sense. So you can add more mud if you like. So I've only used powder for today. So this is what you can achieve with what I have used. So I've literally just used the MUA uh, Immaculate Collection Palette. Um, the Rev Makeup Revolution Brow Kit, which is just brown eyeshadow, uh, the Snazaroo Fake Blood, the Snazaroo uh, Stipple Sponge, just a cheap little Collection 2000 lipstick, um, and what else are these? And just a few basic makeup brushes. This is basically stuff that you have in your drawer, other than obviously like the fake blood, because I don't think everybody has fake blood in their drawer. But this is stuff that you have in your drawer that you can use to achieve this sort of makeup look. So, yeah just mess up the hair a little bit more. Now like I said I'm not a professional makeup artist, this is just something that I'm doing for fun. Uh, so I would love your feedback down below. I have got fake blood all over my trousers. Oh no! <laughs> oh well. So uh, yeah leave me some feedback down below if you'd like to see anything else. If you'd like to see the development of the costume then do let me know because I am making my costume um, we're now in March and I have two months to do it and I have pretty much the whole costume to make so this should be quite interesting I've done under pressure um, so yeah so leave me your feedback down below be sure to give me a follow on Twitter give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and if you have any questions at all then please feel free to leave your comments below if you have anything that's critical I welcome constructive criticism I don't welcome trolling haters etc so leave that one out so yeah, I will see you guys soon because this video is getting way too long. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!